Hey guys, so I'm going on holiday on Monday and I've not been on holiday since 2019 and I am anxious and excited. I don't know if anyone else gets this where they're like, once they're on holiday and like they're all good, like it's fine, but like the build up for me is like the worst. I get really anxious. I agreed that it would be a good idea, which I do think it is, a good idea to just do hand luggage only and I've never been on a holiday with hand luggage only and we're going for two and a half weeks so i have to fit this and this is all the stuff i've kind of got out into a small suitcase and this trusty rucksack so i thought i'd do a pack with me and you can see me try and fit everything that i need and i just thought doing the pack with me might kind of help if you're wondering where i'm going i'm going to croatia where i've never been before get packing so what I've done is kind of got everything out that I kind of think I might quite like to take and I thought you know if everything's out then I can see how much I can fit in and go from there so in hand luggage you can only take up to 100 ml of liquid per like container and you have to be able to fit all your containers into a plastic bag like this so I've already popped in here think the majority of the liquids that I anticipate taking. Some toothpaste, this is body wash, these tubes by the way. These little travel tubes are amazing. They're by Human Gear and I'll link them below, but they're really good because they actually have how much is in them on the bottle, which means you can use them in hand luggage. It's my shampoo and conditioner, a bite pen, which is just like liquid because if you get bitten and they're really itchy, it just drives me mad. Now this is just some over the counter steroid cream this is just in case i get a heat rash because i do get very prone to getting heat rashes and while i don't particularly like having to use things like this i prefer to use this then it get out of control and then we end up with something like folliculitis which if you know you know so yeah that's going in there and then i didn't know if this counts as a liquid it's just like a um, spf lip balm but i thought i just put it in there anyway just to be safe and also another liquid is just my trusty concealer. Hopefully I won't need much of it on holiday, but I'll just take it with me anyway. So those are all my liquids. So that is fine. Like liquids, it's very easily doable. I thought it was going to be way worse. I wanted to show you guys these. So I got these. These are Teva, Teva, I don't know how you say it, sandals. And I just thought they were like really practical. I know they're not the prettiest, but I think they're really cool actually. Um, and they're like fully adjustable, really comfortable, made from like recycled materials and they're waterproof and I just thought it'd be great for like if we do a lot of like hiking around, walking and the beaches in Croatia are um, pebble, they're not sand so I thought that'd be great because it will just help when you're walking on big pebbles. I think best place to start for me is going to be the big case, try and get as much in as possible. Now I don't, I don't plan on fitting all of this in. This is just everything that I would like to take in an ideal world. So we're gonna do flip flops up here and we're gonna do teavers down the bottom. I don't know why I said that, that was weird. It's like Jenga, this packing, isn't it really? Maybe I should do it like that. No, do that, it's fine. I ordered some, a trial pack of these like laundry detergent sheets that are like biodegradable um that you just put a sheet in the washing machine and that is your detergent and it saves on liquid so that is a hack so you can see i've put the shoes down the middle and then stuffed either side of the shoes with socks and knickers to hopefully kind of like bulk them out and use up all this like extra space that was in the shoes now another hack that my mum actually suggested which i think is genius is obviously like a lot of your bikinis come with like padding in them and also like my bras as well like the padding i'm going to take all the padding out of all of them and literally take one set of padding for my sort of normal everyday sort of like bras and then one set of padding for my bikinis and therefore it just won't be as bulky because it just it just really bulks them out so i think i've got six bikinis here which is should be more than enough but bikinis are the things that i'll probably be living in for the majority of the time so i just wanted to have enough i've been out of my head can't get out of bed too much on my brain but got it good can't complain it's like i'm losing my mind 
Okay, this is how we're looking. It's actually not bad. Um, I've managed to squeeze all bikinis down this side and bras and like this little kind of like crochet bra at top. And then this side has got uh, active wear, so like sports bra, two pairs of workout shorts, a pair of leggings, and then two sets of pajamas. And then we still got, still got a good, you know, inch and a half on the top that we can play around with with kind of everyday clothes so it's going well got this space up here too and some little zip pockets on the front as well and obviously this whole bag is empty so we're doing really well i'm very very impressed so far bring two pairs of denim shorts realistically i need your guys answers right now and i'm gonna go lighter i think i think i'll go with more yes do lighter i've had these shorts since i was probably like in i don't know like year nine at school and they i just absolutely love them like they've been one of the best pieces of clothing i've ever bought they've just come in useful for like so many years and i just don't ever see myself getting rid of them to be honest so yeah, love them. Sunshine on my face, I'm feeling okay. Nothing's in my way. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I know some people are into the whole rolling thing, and I've rolled a lot of the things at the bottom, but I do find when it comes to like bigger sort of clothing items like this when you start rolling them up they just take up more like depth and so I try and fold them and then find like the thickest point and sort of rotate them round so like the fold which is obviously going to be the thickest point is in different areas every time and for me that generally works quite well so as you can see I've literally got most of the clothes in I've just got one shirt um a romper and a dress behind there and a little score and these to fit on the top plus in this side as well so i think it's all gonna go in you guys i put a dress on today i don't care what you say and i'm ignoring my phone so don't try to reach me i can't do nothing for you so don't ask i ain't coming through because i'm running away to my own world that's where i And it shuts like so easily like we've got room in here wow and then i've just got all of this stuff which is like tech stuff so like gopro just my toiletry bag all of the liquids that i showed you my vitamins probiotics my cap i do want to take another hat as well and i've got two options this is option one which is a little bit extra i'm aware and you oh you might recognize this from my grease vlog so there's this one but i think it's just really good because it does protect you like from the sun all round um it is extra i will be wearing this on the plane <laughs> or i'll be yeah wearing this on my head in the airport because there's no way i'm gonna be able to fit this in anything or i have a bucket hat which is an alternative option which is slightly smaller which again gives me like a bit more protection than a cap all the way around but and, and this one is a bit more practical because i can fold it and put it in my hand luggage but I do really like the big sun hat, so I really don't know. Again, I wish you guys could let me know right now, but I'm going to have to decide for myself. Okay, so the packing yesterday came to a bit of an abrupt ending. I'm carrying on from where I've left off, and a few things have arrived um, in the post, so it's actually quite good timing, and I have my birthday, so I'll just show you some extra bits and finish packing, ready for the trip. <laughs> So I did have all these clothes in the case, but I've taken them up because I wanted to put this in a bit further down. So this I got on Depop, which is a rash guard, and I can wear this for longer days at the beach. It just helps protecting you from the sun because it covers up like your chest area or your arms, your back. Like I just thought this was a really sensible purchase. Um, and it was only like 13 pounds on Depop. So we love that. Also my bum bag arrived. I wanted to get one that was 
had lots of different like sections and was really practical. It's actually waterproof as well, which I thought was great. Um, so the front section, it's even got like a built-in sort of purse section there, which is so good. Um, and I can just keep like my passport and all like important things in here. So it's just on me at all times. If, because it's like a relatively nice bum bag, it will, this will double as my evening bag as well. So the laundry detergent sheets that I spoke about, um, they arrived, so they are in ready to go. It's so handy because that's literally, it's just like a, an envelope and this, it kind of tells you how to use them on the back there. So that is great to know that that's there. And then another thing that I got for my birthday, which I'm definitely taking, I got a Polaroid camera, which is the, what is this? The Fujifilm Instax Mini 11. Holly has one of these and I've always wanted one. So shout out to the family for getting me this. I have ordered as well, which I hope will arrive in time. A case for this, just I'm a bit worried. I don't want to get it all scratched and battered. So that will hopefully arrive literally the day before we fly, which is in two days time. So I'm hoping that does arrive. I have a book as well. So this is gonna be my holiday book. So just a bit of light reading for the holiday. But yeah, in this bag so far, these are our documents I've printed out. Um, the book, I think I've got a pair of wired headphones in here because I don't wanna bring my AirPods just because they are worth a bit more. This is my toiletry bag, basic stuff in it, like toothbrushes, a bar of soap, like the hair clip I use, my hair brushes and a comb. What else? Oh, these, my trusty face halos, which I use to wash my face. They are lifesavers. So I got this, it's just a last swab and it is a reusable cotton bud. I know it sounds pretty grim when you first hear about it, but honestly, life-changing. You just buy one and this lasts you like for ages. It's made of um, sort of flexible silicone and you just wash it off after you use it. But honestly, it saves you so much. Think of all of the waste that you create if you use a cotton bud, you know, every day to clean your ears out. I'll link these down below because I genuinely think they're really handy. And also for traveling, they are perfect. You just need this and that's it. And it's really tiny. Another thing is my deodorant and it's literally a block of salt, but genuinely it's the best natural deodorant I've found um, that doesn't make you smell. I find a lot, well, literally almost every other natural deodorant I've tried just makes me smell worse. So I just don't bother with them and I just use this. And it literally lasts you for years um, and they're really inexpensive as well. So it's just great for travel. I'm not um, a big makeup wearer these days. So that really helps with like saving space with liquids and, and all things like that. This section here in the bag is kind of my tech. So this is my GoPro and it's got like, chargers, spare batteries, just like camera stuff. And then this is just my regular camera charger. And, oh, there's the spare films for my Polaroid. And I've got my portable charger here, which is also a really good must have. Um, I'll link this one down below because it's really good. It's an anchor one. Oh, and I will talk about these. So a lot of you may know um, that I had a varicose vein, which was treated thank goodness but i do find my legs are prone to becoming achy and these compression socks are genuinely life-changing but i'm bringing these and i'll be wearing them on the flight um there and back so i'll link these down below as well for you for everything for my holiday in a rucksack and a small case and like I hope you can see like size reference like it's pretty small but I hope this video has been helpful and hopefully will give you guys some confidence that if you want to save some money and be more eco-friendly and travel lighter it is possible and you can still bring loads of things um you just got to be smart and um just pack really well hopefully you'll stick around and check out my Croatia vlogs which will be coming very soon Bye. Oh.